Hello everyone. So as you know, here at Corn Fed Life, we have some pretty great merch that you can purchase, like these one-of-a-kind t-shirts with our logo, or a nice trucker hat, or now, thanks to Herman and Becky from Moonlight Workshop, we have these laser etched water bottles. And uh, if you can see, they are very pretty how they did those. So now what I want to do is show you exactly how they made those because it took some deal of creativity. So I want to show you uh, what went into those and how they were made. All right, come along and let's have a look. Hey y'all, this is Jay Cooney. We're Culverton. JJ Jasper with American Family Radio. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Schultz. Y'all are watching Corn Fed Life. Corn Fed Life. Okay, here we are at the Moonlight Workshop with our favorite gang, Herman, Becky, and Carlton. Hey, so we needed to get some cups uh, engraved, uh, etched in laser, I guess it is, and uh, we thought we'd have to do that online, but right here in small town Mankato, Kansas, we found these guys. <laughs> so not only do you do that, but tell us what else you guys do here at the Moonlight Workshop. I guess there's just a little bit of everything that we do, but mostly computer stuff. Uh, in other words, computer repair, viruses, I suppose, upgrades, like you said, laser etching, engraving on wood, glass, uh, custom t-shirts. I suppose the list goes on and on. And if you want to, you can probably look us up online. At Moonlight Workshop LLC on Facebook. We're not on the internet, but we're on Facebook. so. That's where we're at. Or you can contact us if you really want to at 785-428-2236. Awesome. How's that for a plug-in, right? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> and you guys are here what days and times? We're here Monday through Friday, 1 to 5, and we're always online. So if you need to email us to get information, that is also moonlightworkshop at yahoo.com. Yeah, and they can get free tours, right, of the studio here? Sure, you can. If you want to come into our quote, quote, mess up. <laughs> mess of stuff. <laughs> mess of stuff, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, let's head inside the Moonlight Workshop and let's see what these guys have got for us. <laughs> yeah, we've got our junk store going on. We're time and transitioning. The current project here is... Uh, sublimation project. These are coasters and you can put on basically whatever graphic your little heart desires. And in this case, and this is... Hey, my heart is huge. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just, it can only, it's got to fit in that little spot there. <laughs> I, I know this is printed in mirror, mirror mode, because yeah. it's going to go onto the item. And this is a kind of a fun project that my sister and I have done. She's in Washington State. And uh, the idea is the moose wants to take on and be famous, be popular, and you might recognize this pose, right? <laughs> Marilyn, Moose, Marilyn Monroe, so this, this is our, our second one in the series, so to speak. And so the process is, is pretty easy, I suppose. You get your uh, sublimatable special ink, paper, etc., etc. The next step would be is to take the uh, sublimatable side, obviously. That side don't work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll set it up on top of the graphic, of course, a little bit of a overlap that way I don't have to be perfect perfect at it and then our ever trusty tape now this is top secret stuff you guys so take note take notes top secret here <laughs> let me see what I can do just basically eyeballing it there's enough color on the outside so I know kind of how to line it up All right. then the next step is sticking in our ever so handy dandy press kind of find center Swing them around. Click and start my timer. 45 seconds. Of course, it varies according to altitude, age, weight, uh, drink preference. You know, you, you have to just fine tune it. It's just, that's not setting in any stone. It's just a matter of, hey, cook. Cook, cook, cook. So let's see here. It's so that's quick. just heating it up real hot? Yep, it's just uh, heating it up. The graphic that's on the paper then gets sublimated, that's where sublimation comes in, in other words it turns to a vapor and it gets trapped by the substrate which in this case oh. is a coaster. So uh, 
you can do uh, ten, tons of uh, different items. One of them is uh, as popular as license plates, custom license plates. Because here oh, in Kansas, cool. you don't need both front and back; you just the back. And so yeah, the front's awesome. open for your own custom. Uh, in your case, oh, there's my cue. And let's see how bad I didn't do. <laughs> yeah, watching us taking all this time. Yeah. <laughs> there we have it. I'll get out of your maybe get shot oh, of nice. So just it's hot now, but you let it cool off, and it's ready for your favorite beverage. So easy enough, I suppose. And better yet, they're all done one at a time. I can't mass produce these, at least not with my setup anyway. <laughs> handmade with love, right? Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's the buzzword nowadays. Everybody says handmade. Yes, it, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Very good. <laughs> the most boring town in Kansas. In Kansas. Is that what no, in the U.S. In the U.S. The U.S. Most, yes. most boring yes. town in America. Yeah, right here. according yes. to yes, whatever those guys were. Uh, yes, theory was that the ones yeah. that? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. But yes, they nailed it. It's funny though. The most boring town, and there have been multiple YouTube videos done of this town. Now there's now there's going to be another one. <laughs> but um, somebody did one about that uh, coffee shop across the street. I saw that. I saw them online. Cool. This was like years ago. It's an older one. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, and then, of course, the most boring town video, which had things like Sweden cream and stuff in it. Yeah. We've done videos of um, uh, the thrashing bee and things like that online, too. Oh, okay. We've done that. And I think I've even done the corn show a couple times. The Oh, the corn show. Yeah, I was bummed we missed that. I think we were gone or something. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Next we're year. Doing something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. We're working on um, graphic prints and things like that also. So we've got tons of stuff that we can do. All you got to do is call and ask. So if you don't know what you want, just call and maybe they'll, maybe you guys have an idea of what they want. <laughs> yeah. They, they can, can do it all. The money amount, we'll give you kind of ideas of what you can do. I would think with all these machines and stuff, you can do just about anything. Yeah, but it's, you can't say the sky's the limit, but a lot of the creativity comes from the customer, believe it or not, because there's things that I didn't realize I can do. They just yeah. asked, hey, could, is this possible? You know what? I think it is. So a lot of it, it, says it can be done, yes, it can be done. a lot of it comes from the from the customers, absolutely. We Our creativity is only as good as our imagination, and apparently, I don't have a lot of imagination. <laughs> I kind of I kind of doubt that. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, you know how that works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can relate. I'm the reason we got the laser etcher engraver, which right, is going to yeah. do your cups and then... Oh, nice. Okay, we got the CNC machine because we were looking at some of the things that we can do with the trinket boxes and things like that. Yeah. And then we got the laser etcher for the cups. Yeah. Resin. What's that? Resin. Do you have an example for them? Uh, we made Christmas ornaments this year for Carlton's teachers, but we're learning how to make resin items. Oh, that's cool. Start out as a liquid, and you put decorations inside of it, and turn it into piece a hard piece. Of you can make all kinds of jewelry and stuff, uh -huh. right? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. So, cool. The next project's going to be a Nintendo remote. A Nintendo remote? Yes, I have a, um, not a cast, but a, a uh, mold that looks like the Nintendo remote. Oh, okay. And so all I have to do is paint it, put the resin in it, and then I let the resin dry a little bit. Paint it again. That way it has that double layer look. Fill it full of resin and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> cool. So that's my goal. And what's the what's the like the outcome of that? Is it like just decor or what? Um, yeah. It's something. basically just something that you have. You can use it as a paperweight. You can put all kinds oh, okay. of memorabilia inside of it. You can do flowers on the inside. You can do oh, nice. pictures. We did pictures in some of them for Christmas ornaments and so it's really kind of cool. So, awesome. Yep. It's a project that we have tons of stuff laying around because we like. Oh, yes. Here's another one. What you got there? It goes away and bail. It, it's. A piece of resin. 
<laughs> that was shaped in a mold. What's inside there? Grizzly bale. Of a pyramid. Oh. And huh. you can see. Cool. There's a little bear. Yeah, a, a I see. A bear inside. <laughs> That's cute. So that was my first attempt of actually putting a solid piece inside of the liquid. Oh, nice. I, I liked it, but I put too much glitter in it. So I <laughs> you can it. never have too much glitter. For me, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really kind of neat how it how it works. We had a kid slamming it on the floor not too long ago. And this is pretty tough. Yep, it it's a lot to to make it go, but. Yep, that was a cool Thanks for one. sharing that. Hey, work for <laughs> Cool. You just kind of go with it or just, I'm sure we can do take two, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we have it. I'm not sure if you can hear me too well. But as far as that goes, this is our uh, laser. And what I'm doing here is I'm engraving the logo onto uh, the cup itself, or I should say the sports drink cup. What we have in here is a, a rotary attachment, which allows us to do some cylindrical objects. There's not much to it. Uh, the graphics were prepared. It's been you know, sent over to the uh, quote-unquote laser. I call it a printer. And everything's kind of set. The next thing for me to do is line up the laser, figure out where he's at. Lucky for me, there's a little pointer I can turn on, which I think is brilliant. I'm going to uh, disable the X and Y axis so I can go ahead and line it up to the middle of that hand. And it's hard to see. That gives me my first coordinate. Okay. And so then I'm going to reset this. So it goes back to so the same place. They're all the same size, so that makes no difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do a partial dry run. In other words, the laser won't activate. So it's open. Okay. Go ahead and go here. And it's going to go to position, work its magic, and I'm doing this so it kind of finds the center. Oh, okay. Stop, reset, and then I'm going to double check with my pointer again. And then, of course, each job is unique. This so just happens to need that extra lining up since the graphic's already there. If the graphic wasn't there, we don't need all this extra, extra work, right? Seems to be on our mark, so what I'm going to do is shut off my pointer so I don't use up any more lights, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different frequency. Shut him and have him go to town. Back. Go. Okay, alright, I'm going to hit go. Let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> the magic begins. The magic, 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 magic.
then. My cue. And of course, if all goes well, that would be hard to see or not, but there you go. Yeah, that's cool. Magic, magic. I love the color. I know it pinks my style, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so walk us through. Tell me all that stuff you told me before. Okay. Like I said earlier, everything's unique as far as how to make things work. In this case, the way my rotary device is designed, it's better for glasses, something with a, with a flat ridge. Well, with these guys, the ridge isn't flat. So my next ingenuitive type idea, or at least a better plan is to add weight to it. And of course, these aren't, it's not the right bag. I use some of these, also known as dried peas. So if, <laughs> if you don't, if your mom doesn't think, you know, or if you don't think peas are any good, trust me, they're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they're perfect. So let me just add some weight here. Is it gonna go over? Is it gonna do too much? <laughs> I'm guessing not. <laughs> so there's a little prep work to be done with some of this stuff, and everyone is unique, so sometimes you gotta come up with you know ingenious ways to do this kind of stuff. And you know what? You gonna show me the lid that you found? Okay. So you found this lid because okay, these were the to, yeah. That's the original ones, and let me see, this makes a difference on the color has this thing sticking out and that messed up, messed with the machine, right? Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't let it go around and actually clear the, the, the rotary, I guess, adapter. And so somebody luckily had something similar and you know what? That just makes a world of difference. So <laughs> thanks you know, to my friend Richard, he, he saved the day. Because if it wasn't for him, I'd have to jump on my 3D printer and then who knows what I would have come up with. <laughs> I printed a little cap. Yeah, just some little ingenious cap. I love this better. It works just perfect and I think the rest of it's the same difference, just rinse and repeat, right? It's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> that looks really cool. Okay, uh, I'll just... okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Very awesome.